And of course, uh, the conversation is still on about how to win a gold medal. We still got uh, Chioma Juma Para right here in the studio. Of course, it's been an exciting uh, conversation in the first half, especially sharing experiences and, of course, lending some words of advice to Team Nigeria in Paris right now. But now we'll move towards a different scope of discussion now. It's all about athletes and uh, doping. And, of course, this also is a very, very important topic, always is an important topic. And, of course, let me quickly sample uh, Shoma's opinion on this now, really. When it comes to doping, of course, it goes without saying that you mentioned discipline is quite key, very important. But now, how do you prepare as an athlete against doping? Because sometimes, I, for one, some people are not so enlightened to the fact that, look, doping doesn't exactly mean that you intentionally enhance yourself sometimes. Sometimes it's just your diet. Sometimes it's just what you eat, like you said. But how, how do you best sensitize athletes towards doping? Yeah, um, uh, how uh, an athlete uh, could uh, exonerate himself or herself from doping, number one, the athlete have to be disciplined. Disciplined in the sense that you should know that um, I am uh, a professional athlete. And every particular given time you could be called upon for doping because that is the rule. And if you are there, right from the time you are doing your build-up, you must be careful in anything that enters your stomach. You know, because, or even something you rub for pains. Mm. You know, you have to be really, that's why I'm saying discipline. You need to be aware that whatever thing that makes you, you fail dope test, yeah. you know, you are liable to wait. Mm. You know, so no matter how it comes, you have to answer for it. Therefore, an athlete must be very, very careful. And whenever they said, come for pre-doping, you must make yourself available. Yes. That's where the discipline starts from. Because if they did not see you, they believe that you, are, you have something in your cupboard you are mm. hiding. Okay. Okay, interesting. Now, I, I, I want us to bring in your partner. I know she's joining in. It's uh, Amarachi Lillian. Of course, uh, she is uh, all about uh, the topic of doping as well. She's passionate about it. Lily Legend Sport is our platform. Great to have you on the show, Amarachi Lillian. And, of course, I'd like you to go straight into this conversation of doping and, uh, of course, how important it is uh, for athletes to be sensitized and conscious about it with the tournament just days away. Thank you very much, and, uh, and I'm happy to be here. So going straight to the point, uh, like you just asked me to, because of time, we all know that, uh, just like my partner, Choma Jumwa said, it is very important to, for all the athletes to be uh, disciplined towards this doping act. Because, of course, when one is being caught in uh, and it's really not a good one for the record of uh, this particular uh, athlete. So it's very important that the, all the athletes stay clear. Last time, uh, just two weeks ago, uh, we had a program with Choma Jongwa too, where we had over 600 youths in sports but the secondary school where, where we instructed or educated them the importance of staying away from illicit drugs. So the negativity that comes from this uh, from, uh, is really not a good one to... Uh, mm. Okay, to Lillian, when permit, it permit to me talk. to quote you now and ask this very important question. Your foundation now, mm -hmm. what is the focal point of your vision? What's the philosophy of uh, your vision? that drives the organization uh, towards, uh, I mean, uh, sensitizing people all about this? Oh, well, uh, my foundation or my academy is mostly for grassroots. And you know, that's where the uh, problem is. Gathering this grassroots uh, uh, sports, uh, uh, young uh, boys and girls, educating them, making sure that we fix them in the right uh, direction whether in football or in athletes, through the help of my partner, John Marad, we've been working hand in hand. That's why I was talking about the program we had last uh, two weeks, educating these kids. So it's all about 
getting the grassroots, fixing them in the right uh, direction and making sure that uh, they understand the importance and the, the negativities of this uh, uh, the illicit drug or doping so that when they get into the right channel of their breaking point in sports, they should focus and not be distracted with what they take or uh, how they uh, get about their sports activities. Mm. Okay, let me come back to you now, Choma. Um, Toby Amazon, last year at the World Athletic Championship in uh, Budapest, this sort of issue bedeviled, uh, I mean, this is one of the factors that limited uh, we know from last year. Now, do you think that, you know, after going through all of that last year, she's recovered enough to enter into Paris with enough zest to go all out to get a gold medal? Well, um, I know that um, the problems, the challenges that it came with that allegation, you know, even when she went for the World Championship, I believe that she should have won that uh, competition. And that was why I told you here that um, the kind of thing one wears has a lot to do in her mm. performance. And I think it's pretty underrated yeah. what you and wear. And equally, the kind of mindset you have before you enter the uh, stage equally have a lot to do with your performance. You know, as somebody that has been alleged, you know, so for you to come there and be yourself, it's not possible. Somehow you will be demoralized. And I know that was what happened to her, that she didn't win that event. And I believe that even now, um, what I pray for her is God to give her the solid mind as a Nigeria, a big shock observer, you know. Because when I was telling people that there's a very dangerous politics in sports, mm. you know, some people don't know. Yeah. But for us that have been there and somehow they, have, they used us to do such politics, we know what was going on. Uh, Amosu was brilliant she was everywhere and she was running like tomorrow no day mm. and the next thing is to say i came to dope you, you, know, I you know, we, we just hope she can reach those heights again now. i believe so mm. i believe so because she's close okay she's close okay now we we just have to go now i mean <laughs> as interesting as the conversation is i mean we'd really love to continue but at this point really we passed our time thank you very much Shoma for making it here, for having this beautiful conversation. I'm highly esteemed to have done thank this with you. Thank you for having me. And also me. Lillian Marachi, thank you very much as well uh, for being part of the conversation. We thank now have to bring much. things to a close here. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. And of course, this is the full complement of our conversation here on Afro Sport Now in Focus today. Thank you very much for watching. You can be part of all that we do by following us on social media and those at Afrosport TV on all platforms. And also, you could visit our website. It is www.afrosportnow.com. My name is Ayomide Shotubo. Thank you very much again for watching, and it's bye for now.